Hi, I'm Gagan. If you want to pass the certification exams like the CISSP and stand out as a cybersecurity professional, you must master core application security testing strategies, specifically SAST and DAST. These two powerful methodologies help organizations uncover vulnerabilities before attackers do, whether hidden deep in the source code or present in running applications. Before we jump into the specific types, let's understand what application security testing actually is. It is the process of analyzing and evaluating applications to identify security vulnerabilities that could be exploited by malicious actors. The goal is simple, find weaknesses before attackers do. Both SAST and DAST are foundational approaches for identifying security vulnerabilities each serving a distinct purpose in the software development lifecycle. When used together, they provide comprehensive security coverage. Now let's break down these two primary approaches. SAST stands for Static Application Security Testing. The key word here is static. SAST analyzes application's source code, bytecode, which is the intermediate compiled code, or binary code, which is the machine executable files, without actually executing the program. It's a white box approach that examines the code from the inside out. When performing source code analysis, SAS tools methodically examine each line of the code. Using pattern recognition, they scan for code structures that match known vulnerability signatures in their databases. Through data flow analysis, these tools track how information moves through the application following inputs from the entry points to where they are used. Finally, with control flow analysis, SAS tools map out all possible execution paths to find logical flaws in the code's decision-making structure. SAS is typically integrated early in the development pipeline, often as soon as code is written or committed, enabling developers to remediate vulnerabilities before the application is deployed or even compiled. SAS offers several key advantages. With early detection, security issues are identified at the beginning of the development when they are easiest and cheapest to fix. Through precision remediation, SAS tools show developers exactly which lines of code contain vulnerabilities, dramatically reducing fix time. And with the developer integration, these tools plug directly into coding environments and development pipelines providing immediate feedback as code is written. Despite its strengths, SAS has important limitations to consider. Runtime blindness means these tools can't identify vulnerabilities that can only emerge when application is actually running. The issue of false positives means security teams must manually verify findings to separate actual threats from false alarms. And technology dependencies make SAS tools specific to certain programming languages or frameworks, potentially requiring multiple tools for complex applications. Now let's talk about DAST, Dynamic Application Security Testing. Unlike SAS, DAST examines an application in its running state. It's a black box approach that tests from the outside in, simulating external attacks without requiring access to the source code. When DAST tools are deployed, they first begin crawling the application, systematically mapping all accessible pages and potential entry points a hacker might target. Then they start injecting malicious data, sending specifically crafted inputs designed to trigger security flaws. By analyzing responses from the application, these tools observe how each component reacts to attempted exploits. Finally, they identify vulnerabilities by documenting all security issues discovered during testing, creating a comprehensive report of exploitable weaknesses. DAST offers significant advantages for security teams. With runtime detection, it finds vulnerabilities that only emerge when the application is actually running and processing data. Being technology agnostic, DAST works on any application regardless of programming language or framework, making it highly versatile. However, DAST does come with important limitations. As a late cycle testing methodology, 
it's typically performed after code is deployed to test environments when fixes becomes more expensive. Remediation complexity is higher because DAST cannot pinpoint exactly where in the source code a vulnerability exists, requiring developers to investigate further. Coverage limits mean DAST may miss vulnerabilities that aren't exposed through external interfaces or require specific user sequences to trigger. And the maturity requirement makes DAST less effective during early development phases when a functional application isn't yet available for testing. When comparing these methodologies, we see clear differences in testing approach. SAST uses white box internal analysis, while DAST employs black box external testing. The timing within the development lifecycle differs significantly. SAST operates early during the development before compilation, while DAST runs later when applications are deployed to testing environments. What's being tested also contrasts sharply. SAST examines source code, byte code, or binaries without execution, while DAST tests a running application in its deployed state. This leads to finding different vulnerability types SAST detects code level flaws like SQL injection and cross-site scripting in the source code, while DAST identifies exploitable runtime vulnerabilities like authentication flaws and misconfigurations. Regarding accuracy, SAST tends to produce higher false positives due to its lack of runtime context, while DAST has lower false positives but may miss issues not exposed through interfaces. Tool requirements differ too. SAS needs source code access with language-specific tools, while DAST works on any running application regardless of the programming language. Finally, remediation approaches vary. With SAS pinpointing exact code locations for faster fixes, while DAST identifies issues based on application behavior, often requiring further investigation to resolve. To implement these testing methodologies effectively, Start by combining SAST and DAS for comprehensive coverage, using SAS to identify potential code level vulnerabilities and DAS to validate which ones are actually exploitable in practice. Proper integration into the software development lifecycle is crucial. Deploy SAS early during coding and build phases while scheduling DAS later in testing and staging environments. This timing maximizes the benefit of each approach. Automation is key to consistent security. Integrate both SAST and DAST scans within your CI CD pipeline to provide continuous security feedback with each code change. This makes security an ongoing process rather than a one time event. Don't overlook third party code. Consider adding software composition analysis to identify vulnerabilities in external components and libraries that might otherwise slip through your testing. To manage the flood of findings effectively, implement prioritization and triage processes. Focus on critical threats based on thorough risk assessment to avoid alert fatigue and ensure the most dangerous issues get fixed first. Communication is essential. Create efficient workflows for passing vulnerability information between security teams and developers with clear remediation steps and verification procedures. Finally, use standardized approaches like the OWASP application security checklist and structured risk assessment procedures to ensure consistent and thorough testing coverage across your applications. By implementing these best practices, you will build a robust application security posture that addresses both code level and runtime vulnerabilities throughout the development lifecycle. Remember, SAS uses a white box approach analyzing static source code or binaries for vulnerabilities before the application runs. DAST uses a black box approach, testing the application in its running state by simulating attacks. Using both together provides a layered and holistic security posture. It's worth noting that implementing SAST and DAST helps organization meet various compliance requirements and regulatory standards like PCI DSS, GDPR, ISO 27001, and industry-specific regulations, which is crucial for cybersecurity professionals 
working in regulated industries. As a cybersecurity professional, understanding how to integrate these approaches throughout the software development life cycle will be crucial to your success in protecting applications from modern threats. I hope this overview helps you better understand SAST and DAS testing approaches. I'll see you in the next cybersecurity video. Thanks.